The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light, sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا وشرف الأنبياء وسيد المسلين بالقاسم محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين الغر الميامين والعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين دكتور العزيز so um, Right now, inshallah, we shall be discussing the wilada, the birthday of Imam Al Hassan السلام, and Imam Al Hussein. Um, certain traditions we do with regards to our newborns, we take it from Imam Al Hassan. السلام. So, inshallah, we, we could begin with regards to narrations regarding the wilada of Imam Al Hassan. Bismillah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين الطاهرين واللعنة على أعدائهم أجمعين. Um, yes, on the occasion of the birth of Imam Hassan عليه السلام when Imam Hassan عليه السلام was born um, um, he was taken to um, his father Imam Ali alayhi salam and um, he was asked, Imam Ali that was asked that what are you going to um, what name have you decided for him, what are you going to call him and he said that I'm not going to uh, uh, name him before uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. so Imam Ali took uh, Imam Hassan or um, the infant baby Hassan, newborn Hassan to uh, you hadn't didn't have the name to the mm. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi, and he said, "Oh Prophet, what will you uh, call him?" And he said, "I'm not going to do so until I receive instructions from Allah subhanahu wa taala." And uh, Jibrail alayhi salam descended, <coughs> and he said uh, to him this famous hadith. Uh, and uh, that Ali is from you like uh, the station of um, Harun from Musa or Ali is, is to you like Harun was to Musa um, so call him <coughs> by the name of the son of Harun and he said what's the name of uh, son of Harun he said Shubba he said but my tongue my language is Arabic so Jibrail alayhi uh, salam said to him, okay, man, call him Hassan. So <clears throat> if you like, this is the equivalent of Shubar in, in Hebrew. So Imam, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi called the newborn Hassan alayhi salam. And um, there were a number of uh, acts committed or traditions, which have been, remained traditions and until now, they are highly, people are highly encouraged to observe the, those mm -hmm. traditions. Which are? One of them, he recited the adhan in the right ear of uh, this baby, baby Hassan, and uh, recited the iqama in the left ear um, of the baby. It's, it is highly uh, mustahab. It is, um, if you like, you could say it's very important Should that, that be people do that. Would, should they do that uh, um, once the baby is born, right there and there? Or should they, do they have like uh, some freedom of time? Uh, as soon as they can. As soon as I they mean, can. Uh, if you like, the list of children to be done is, is uh, to name the boy or the child 
um, as soon as you can. Um, not only can name you him. pick the name before the child is born? You could. Yeah. And also you, it's Yisami and you can knee. And to give a kunia for him, that is uh, an agnomen, uh, uh, and that you call him, for instance, Imam Hassan was called Abu Muhammad, Imam Hussein was called Abu Abdullah. Um, um, and um, so the first thing was to give him a name, give him a kunya, and recite the adhan in the right ear, <coughs> and recite the iqama in the left ear. Um, another tradition which is um, mustahab to do is to shave uh, the head of the newborn and the equal to the weight of that hair mm. is to give gold to you know to the poor uh, this is the value of it in, of uh, yeah uh, in gold um, and also to do what is called aqiqa, aqiqa. which is uh, to if you like uh, slaughter um, a sheep mm. and cook it and give it to the uh, the needy uh, the not necessarily the needy to it can you know, be guests. friends yeah that's right okay. friends and so on um, <clears throat> so yes to, to give uh, um, doesn't have to be the poor just uh, friends or whoever invited and the, again so so basically by giving him a name giving him a kunya doing reciting the adhan in the right ear reciting the iqama in the left ear uh, shaving the head uh, of the child and giving the weight of that hair which is going to be extremely um, tiny, uh, um, gold to the poor, and also the aqiqa. Uh, so these, these, are, these were the traditions that were done, and of course circumcision, these were the traditions which were done for mm -hmm. uh, Imam Hassan alayhi salam, and they continue to be observed by the faithful, um, and they are encouraged to observe them, uh, highly recommended, uh, that they do that for the, for the children, for the newborn. Subhanallah. Um, now, something you mentioned um, regarding um, the naming of Imam al Hassan, السلام, which is something quite very important. Again, um, we can see throughout the history uh, of uh, the, the Holy Prophet وآله, and his family how Allah subhanahu wa always emphasizes on their uniqueness and difference from others, from normal people like you and I. So, Allah subhanahu wa himself named Imam al-Hasan. Mm. So again here we see that Imam Ali does not have the authority to name his own son. Mm. Out of respect he goes to the Holy Prophet mm. Ali, and the Holy Prophet himself uh, passes it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he himself doesn't have the authority and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will name. Now uh, one may argue okay it might be important um, um, to for example appoint Amir al-Mu'mineen to Fatima to Zahra, but naming the child, why, why, why wouldn't Amir al-Mu'mineen or the Holy Prophet uh, uh, would ap couldn't appoint the naming of the child? Uh, the, they wouldn't pick a good name yeah. for him. Yeah. What was the significance of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala appointing the name of Imam al Hasan um, Yes, uh, of course, uh, we don't have. At least I haven't seen the in, in, in any tradition that uh, Imam Ali didn't have the authority to name. But as you mentioned, uh, nor do we have anything that the, the Prophet didn't have any authority to name. But as you mentioned, it's out of respect. that Imam Ali didn't want to name him before the Prophet does. And when he took him to the Prophet, uh, sallallahu alayhi wa mm. uh, again, out of respect, um, the Prophet uh, didn't name him until he mm. receives instruction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As to your question as to why, um, again, that uh, it goes to show the status and to reveal the status of uh, in any way they could from different angles. Apart, apart from the fact that the, the Prophet Sallallahu said that uh, they are the leaders, they are the, my, my 12 successes, Ali, Hassan, Hussein and so on. He named them one by one uh, and these are according, they, they are appointed as my successes by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so according to divine instructions, it wasn't only his choice, even though his choice would have been fine with us, because he is, he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he wanted to directly link it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here again, I, as I said, they use every opportunity to try to show to the Muslims that who they are, that they are linked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you like, 
uh, that they are not only instruct, uh, uh, appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but also uh, uh, even their names are chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is something which is extremely important and they want to show to the people that these are the sort of people that we're talking about and these are the people who should be uh, the leaders of the of the nation after the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi, and of course in the case of Imam Hassan after Imam, his father Imam Ali. But unfortunately uh, they didn't uh, honor that sort of respect for them and not only that they didn't have the honor to have them as uh, at least the Muslim women at that time to have them as the Imam and, uh, and, and leaders and some other people uh, because of military coups or whatever took over uh, the reign and ruled. Uh, but the point of the, all this was that they wanted to, uh, to be made clear to the people that Imam Hassan was not an ordinary person. Um, and it wasn't, they didn't suffice to uh, having said, okay, he's been appointed by uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lead, to be the Khalifa of Rasulullah. Uh, at least uh, the second Khalifa, uh, even to, um, if you like, small issues like naming him was dedicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and um, people like Imam Ali, his father, and the Prophet, his grandfather, would not come forward and give a name out of respect for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah gives the name, decides the name for these uh, newborns, both Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. SubhanAllah, Ahsantum. Now, um How's the, how's the climate in Medina? We have the newborn, the Holy Prophet it must be very happy. Um, so is the household. Fatima uh, al-Zahra alayha and Amir al What's, uh, historically, what, what's the environment like at that time when, the Holy, uh, when Imam Hassan was born? What was, what was the environment in Medina? How was, were things going on? With, well, uh, at the, at the early, that was, uh, if you like, the early stages, and um, obviously uh, at that time, um, people like Imam Ali and uh, uh, Fatima Zara were um, highly respected. If you like, um, the uh, people who had um, ulterior motives, they hadn't sort of. Um, worked through the, if you like, the community and they hadn't spread as much as uh, 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 people would uh, uh, expect. Uh, so, if you like, people rejoiced at the birth of Imam Hassan, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam rejoiced. Um, and uh, especially also when Imam Hussein was born, and of course, um, I will come, inshallah, after mentioning the birth of Imam Hussein Alayhi Salaam, what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, said about uh, the successes, or his successes, inshallah we'll come into that. Basically he wanted to make clear to the people um, that uh, uh, these are the ones who should lead, these are the ones who are instructed, uh, who have been uh, uh, instructed by, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lead the nation. So uh, the Prophet used every opportunity to tell the nation uh, uh, about them, <clears throat> about from apart from the physical or the apparent, um, you know, the newborn people were rejoicing. The Prophet made a aqiqah, if you like. People were invited um, to eat the food from it, from the aqiqah. Apart from all these, um, the Prophet used this opportunity to indicate that these, in this case, Imam Hassan and later on Imam Hassan and Hussein, will be the leaders to lead, or the, the Khalifa, the successes to lead the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. With regards to Wilad of Imam Al-Hussein Al yes. uh, In the case of Imam Hussein Alayhi Salaam, it was something similar. Uh, when Imam Hussein was born, um, uh, <coughs> the Imam Ali Alayhi Salaam brought uh, Imam Hussein to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Imam Ali first was, was first asked to name the, the newborn, and he said that he would not do so out of respect and he would uh, uh, ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to uh, name him and he went to the Prophet, he gave him the newborn 
and he asked him to name him and he said he would not do so until he was instruction waste instruction from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, similar to the case of Imam Hassan, Jibrail alayhi salam came down and he said, um Minka um Manzilta Haruna bin Musa. Um Ali to to you is to you like Harun was to Musa alayhi salam and name him the name of the son of uh, Musa the son of Harun and of course the son of Harun he said what was the son of, uh, name of son of Harun was he said it was Shubair and uh, the same thing he said Lisani Arabi my tongue is Arabic and I would like to give him an Arabic name so Jibrail said to him uh, said to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi, name him Hussein and uh, um, the Prophet named uh, this uh, uh, newborn Hussein and of course he did the same thing as he did with Imam Hassan. And the Prophet wanted to make sure, as I said, uh, to try to uh, come to some sort of peace treaties with these different tribes. Um, if like non-aggression treaties. Uh, non-aggression in the sense that not only they don't directly fight the Prophet but they don't go into alliance with other groups or Quraysh to fight the Prophet. This was his main thing. Um, and he achieved a great deal. As well as that, what it achieved that it, it it gave uh, some confidence to the Muslims and it gave uh, a reputation for the Muslims in the eyes of various tribes that they are uh, um, not uh, easy to defeat. They are a formidable force. They are determined to uh, uh, protect themselves, the Muslims. Uh, so this, is, this sends, is sent that kind of message to the, to the various tribes.